Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome to part 23 of Diablo 3 on the Xbox One X. We are exactly where we were at the end of part 22. We're at Gideon's Row. After years of my pleading, the Angiris Council has finally agreed to send me in search of Malfiel. I will not fail in this, as my master's presence is sorely needed in the high heavens. Owing to Malfiel's growing fascination with the humans, Tyriel has suggested I begin my search on Sanctuary. This is just nasty, man. Look at the floor. It's just like covered in dead people. Dead people. I see dead people. That Death Maiden is controlling the Soul Crucible, but not for long. You're right about that. Well, there's an eye opener, and no mistake. Check the area out before we go where we're meant to go. And also, I think, did I pick up a legendary there? It felt like it. No. Just me getting overexcited again. Mm. I know, we hit level 61, that's why I think it was more exciting than it felt. Thank you. I knew you would arrive in time to save me. <laughs> Is that where Miriam's been? Wondered where you were, Miriam, my love. How? I am Miriam Jazia, a seer of the Vechen people. I foresaw our meeting, but I did not see this horror. I have come to help you. There is one crucible left, and if you destroy that, the Maidens will not be able to create more. There is no time to waste. We must be on our way now. Alright, calm yourself. He's getting carried away. Watching you. 
Briar Briar Thorn Cemetery. Briar Horns. Malfiel on Sanctuary, but I did find humans. Far too many of them. They murder and cheat one another. Go to the Survivor's Enclave. It's not safe for you here. Nonsense. You'll protect me. And after experiencing what those things do to people, let's just say I need to see you destroy the final crucible with my own eyes if I am ever to sleep again. You have much guilt over Leah's fate. How do you know that name? I see the past as well as the future. You must not let it consume you. I don't have enough spirit. Ooh, there'll be a waypoint here. You shouldn't be so dour. You have much to be joyful about. You mock me. I have learned that in terrible situations it is better to laugh than to cry. Perhaps when you have lost as much as I, you will understand. to all this death in your visions? Of course it will end, and you will live a long and happy life. I do not believe you. Because I was not That's being entirely in, truthful. Yeah. That, and you are a sole charis that will never believe you can be happy and content. Ashes to ashes, spunk to funky. Maximum impact! Your claws are 
review. I must say, it is wonderful to finally meet. Though you are skinnier than my visions led me to expect. You just don't take care of yourself. It's always about saving the world first, isn't it? You know I've never seen her eat. Well, this looks promising. Noble's Rest Courtyard. I need spirit. That's a good point as it happens. We did pick up a helm which seemed ooh, it's quite nice, isn't it? 620. It's not got the plus two no yeah, because that one had plus two four nine armor on it, so in fact it's seven hundred and seventy, isn't it? Reduces duration of control effect. Oh, it's got two thousand one hundred and forty four life per hit. So it's a question of, do you want the extra armor, or do you want the extra hit? Health on hit. Hmm. What does it look like? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Touch of the Skyrim's about it. Let's go at well. The people of Westmarch have always been very particular about their dead. Most of the nobles have family friends under their marriage. They're regretting it. There's a little side quest at the top there. I'm just damn right disrespecting the dead there, Steven. Penny Bartholomew, well, I think we'll need to help her. I can hear my husband moaning inside his sarcophagus. Please end his suffering. Break Friedrich Bartholomew's sarcophagus. The trap, oh, my love. This hero has come to set you free. Easy. That out. Oh, 
Oh man, this is thunder, boosh. The Defiant Blade. Necromancer only, seemed reasonable. My thanks, hero. Now we may spend eternity together. Ah. To be freed from my torment. Hey, there he is. My soul reunited with yours. I can't imagine a more blissful afterlife. Wait, what is that? Your eternity oh. ends now. All souls are forfeit to mount them all. I don't have enough spirit. Whoa. Well, that just ruined a perfectly nice little love story, didn't it? What's that all about? I... Yeah, you see the armor? Yeah, you see, again, it's saying the armor's better on those, but... I've got plus 152 armor on the ones that I'm wearing. So, technically speaking, the ones I've got on are 480. Attack's better, because the dexterity's up. And the vitality, well, maybe it's the vitality that's telling, making it better. Ooh, movement speed, though. Might just put them on just for that. Ooh, they're a bit sexy, aren't they? Everything's going nice and silver. Oh, that's better. Aye, nice bit of movement speed. Aye. Have it. Let's get back to where we're meant to be. Yeah, a little bit up here, isn't there?
Now that might be a bow for our guy. Ooh, what the shit? <laughs> Get the damage on that. It's three times the damage he's got on the one he's got on at the minute. And it's got another 705 to 825 damage on it. Plus star vitality, plus health per life per hail life per kill. 1.3% chance to stun on hit. Chance to deal 15% area damage on hit. Fucking hell, that's awesome that. Hunter's Marrow. <laughs> Hello, does this come in a large, please? <laughs> hey, nice love choice. It. Yeah, you're not kidding, mate. This graveyard isn't big enough to hold all the dead of Westmarch, even if we save the city. First, we save the city, then we can worry about the rest. You are such the artist when it comes to dispatching Death's minions. Thank you. Look <laughs> at that boat on his back. <laughs> Loving it. Don't mind me. I'll just be waiting over here. There we go again. May I join you? Let's go, come on. The storm breaks. Uh I'm just meant to hit her now. Ah, there's another one up here, that's why. You can milk this for XP a bit, can you? Look at the world in fact. The storm breaks. Dead. Right.
Ooh, five one one. Ooh, attack speed's higher. Dexterity is a lot higher. Let's do it. Nice. Alright, speak to Miriam then. What was that? That would be Urzael. Who? Urzael is the angel who commands Malthael's forces in this city. I think you made him angry. So it appears. Let us return to the Enclave and see what progress Tyriel has made with the Sliver. The Sliver? Well, that said, we can just return to town, can't we? I need to go back. Woohoo! Level 62. Level 8. So we lose dexterity, but we gain armor. That's about all, isn't it? Oh, well, 1544. 1544 thorns damage. See, I don't get how that reduces my attack. Mind you, the one I've got on has got plus 149 armor on it, so I don't see how the armor on that goes up. I think I'll stick with what I've got. Train me, please, sir. All right. Exquisite leg plates. Oh, I don't have what I need to make this stuff. Whatever that required material is, so I'd be boogered in doing anything to do with that. Alright. Wonder how I get that material. Uh, why is there no marker as to where I have to go? Sliver is changing. Malthael is altering the Black Soul Stone. Exactly. He's been gathering strength from the souls of Westmarch in order to alter the stone. Yet his purpose still eludes me. He's killing everyone. What more do you need to know? If we are to stop him, we need to know what he plans to do next. Well, holy town fire as it happens. 
Perseil has mm. done this to finish collecting the souls of Westmarch. He will die. Where is he? All I know is that he is in a tower somewhere in the Westmarch Heights, and that he will be quite rude to you. Before you set out to kill him, <laughs> you should stop by my cart. I can enchant some items for you. West March Heights, is it? Yeah, I've not really done anything with, uh... After Coralan's death, the crown passed to Justinian I through a somewhat convoluted interpretation of Zacharum's scripture. Thus began the Justinian dynasty. Seen as usurpers by many, the Justinians suffered nearly constant challenges to their rule. Finally, during the reign of Justinian III, a full-fledged insurrection broke out in the outlying region of Carthalus. Select a property to replace. All right, okay. Um, Seventy experience per kill, then, eh? Nice. That worked out pretty well. What do I do now? Well, uh, go for the critical hit, maybe, I think. If we stand here much longer, I am going to rob you. Just so you know. <laughs> Same thing, but by two yards. Or plus 23% gold from monsters. Well, the pickup's irrelevant, isn't it? Yeah, stuff's actually quite good, com to be fair.
Plus 864 life from health potions and globes. Yeah, I don't really use them that much though, do I? Thorn damage would be alright though. what transmogrify was just changes the appearance of it does it yeah seems to be Oh, there's more up the way, bloody hell. That's quite smart for the old monk looking at Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> I'm sure that was delightfully interesting to watch. Let's crack on, shall we? Our inventory's fine, isn't it? Yeah, we're pretty empty. Uh, the Harbinger. Point. Check this out, for the hell. Fire! an instant what Jesus Christ it's like three times ne nearly three times the amount of armor um, and dexterity is higher uh, vitality is higher armor's higher God's sake that's awesome nice Oh, I think 
we just picked up a legendary belt or some description. Come on. Go baby, go baby, go baby. It's good though. 389. Loads of life per second better. Vitality is better. Dexterity is better. Chance on hit to create a chaos field that blinds and slows enemies inside for three seconds. 13% deadly reach damage. During battle, confusion quickly gives way to panic and a frightened enemy is the easiest to defeat. Well, that's going on. Now we're cooking. Thank you. That is slobber mouth. Right, I think we missed a couple of bits up here, but which is the way to go is the question. I'd rather go the wrong way first, but...
scar. Holy shit, that's got to be two-handed, that. 2,443. Yeah, two-handed. It's more damage than we've got, though, isn't it? We've got about two... Th just over 2,000... 2,070... 2,073.74. Another 300 odd damage on it, something like that. But bear in mind that our legendary hand weapon has got eight, up to 868 lightning damage and lightning skill damage plus 16 percent and 393 dex. I think that wins. So I don't know why that's telling me. Oh my gee, it's got plus 1,025 damage on it on top of that. It's got plus five percent attack speed on it. Area of effect damage on there. Uh, yeah, I think I prefer my. Mm. We'll hang on to it for now. Bloody crazy weapon that. This could circle round, to be fair. Which would be handy. Yeah, it will. Well, that was very handy indeed, thank you very much. Oh, hello. Repository bone... But of bones. There's a bonus level there, wasn't it? There's a few areas we're still not uncovered. It's all gone a bit Schindler's List with the music, isn't it? Who was that? An actress from the theatre. And her performance was cool. You are defeated! Uh. Sure, that's where we came in. Feel the wrath of Gitar. Feel the wrath of my Gitar.
repository of bones, commonly called the plague tunnels, were originally used to bury West Marches indigent. Level well, two, fair the enough. Pestilence struck. The city decided the tunnels would serve just as well for plague victims, lest West March become overwhelmed by the ever increasing piles of the dead. Meanwhile, back in Gotham... So kick it off now. First bone pit. Maidens of Flame Kill, two or three.
This cannot be opened yet. never gonna happen, is it? Don't say. Well, that didn't go to plan. Seven hundred and fifty on the boot front, though. Very nice. And five four eight thorn damage. Please my movement speed, though. Seem to have covered all the bases, don't they? Sometimes I can't decide which of our friends is the most annoying. Cormac's always moping, and I run as oblivious. Somehow you would end up being the most normal. Hmm. Isn't that strange? Go. Oh, 
legendary boots. <clears throat> I knew it was going to do that. But I bet you it's got some great perks on it. Oh, gain up to 30% movement speed based on the amount of life missing. Dexterity is awesome. Vitality is good. Yeah, it says everything's better on it again. Even armor-wise. Tower of Corellan or Corellan. Right, we've got the flashing marker of to where we're to go. Whoa, hello. He's a big fella. Cube. Now cube, that's not nice. in Hale's house. I think we've got a bit to cover. Yeah, there's still a little bit to cover. There's a possible other section at the top here. And where we need to go is up this way. There's a bit down there we've kind of missed as well. So rather than rush it, we've gone over the hour mark, so I think we'll wrap it up here. I shall return to town and come back to this very location in the next part. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Diablo 3 on the Xbox One X. And I'll catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.